what's up traders real quick this was a question i was asked and i told this brother i would make a video response explaining this because i do get access in different groups and places that i'm at when i post my charts and i post my trades um so he pretty much wanted to know how did i learn how to trade and become profitable consistently now there is a difference between being profitable and being consistently profitable so i get the question he's asking i'm just gonna just make a video about this because this is a funny subject for me as far as youtube and traders and when traders post these type of things because you got to be careful how you answer this because there's no real right way to answer this without it being deceiving because i'm gonna break down what i mean by that and um pretty much what i mean by that is okay i never really consider myself a consistently profitable trader and this is gonna be the truth and i feel like the reason you can't really answer that and say yes you're a consistently profitable trader is simply because you're gonna have uh trading periods where you're not gonna win now there is a difference between what he's asking and people who just fail at trading i'm not a part of that 90 percent that fail at trading so i'm gonna answer this question without just flat out saying i'm consistent and i'll explain this as i'm talking it's very touchy i am not negative when i trade anymore i don't go through a week of trading and come out like oh man i'm negative i, I lost my profits like every week i set an amount of money into the market and whatever that money is i take the profit from that and that is my payment for the week that's how i trade right if i have a week where i can't take a payment i consider that an unprofitable week now this is consistent because i don't have weeks where i come in and i lost money and now i'm negative so there's times when i may have a trading week that's bad but then the next week i'll make that money back so that's consistent but the thing is people get on youtube and they get on social media and they'll explain this like they don't lose or they're consistently profitable that's actually a lot and i'm just gonna explain this as i'm telling you because there's gonna be times when you're gonna lose the way that you become consistent or the way that i have and the way that i think most traders do become consistent at least the ones that i know is you have to discipline yourself not to take too many trades because once you learn how to trade you won't lose that many trades and when you lose trades and you become unprofitable and you start to consistently see yourself losing trades or becoming unprofitable the difference is when you start learning to not take certain trade setups uh because there's times when you're gonna have a trade strategy that works and you're gonna lose the difference between losing and being unprofitable and being consistently profitable is how many trades you take if you're taking a one to three trade meaning you put a position in for 40 pips and your stop loss is uh let's say one to four your stop loss is 10 pips your take profit is 40. that's a one to four because you're risking 10 pips for 40 right simple math if you take a bunch of trades where you're risking 40 pips for 40 pips that's a one to one and your strategy doesn't work well for one you might want to look at your stop loss because you're risking 40 pips to win 40 pips so if you lose two trades and win one you're negative 40 pips because you hit for 40 but you lost 80 and this is the bad habits that lead to you not being consistent you have to learn your trade setup and be disciplined about it and not take a lot of trades i mean there's people i know that take trades all day and they're profitable because their setup is one to four they'll take 20 trades and lose 15 and still be profitable because they win that one to four and that won five times so the fact that it won five times makes them slightly not negative and there's people that trade one to four they'll take 50 trades and they'll hit 20. so it's really about how you trade so I, the reason that i became consistently profitable is because i learned to respect my setup and not take as many trades the weeks that i was losing once i learned to trade is because i just kept taking my setup every time i saw it you know there's things you got to learn like what trading session you're trading in um how does the market move at that time is your setup going to be respected with this pair there's little background checks you have to do things you have to learn or you can like ask somebody because a lot of people don't help people in this community the right way and if you say hey i trade gj at 8 a.m the a lot of people who trade gj will probably say you should trade that at london session but you can trade it at 8 a.m you can't trade it at new york session but you got to know the differences between those things and you have to learn that so the reason that i became consistently profitable myself 
is when I learned to stop over trading because I used to really the market really was killing me because when I was learning to trade I was over trading how did I learn how to trade pretty much what happened to me was I had a friend of mine who was trading for years he's been trading for like 10 years and I used to see him on Facebook posting his forex charts and I never really understood what it was and then I you know I had this job that I absolutely hated and I wanted to learn how to make money and I'm very tech savvy I went to a, a graphic art school my whole life and I always was tech savvy like I kept saying to myself I have to learn how to get some money off my phone and my computer I'm tired of working busting my ass dealing with these stinking co-workers who I didn't like and just being in a, a shitty environment negative people um I had a physical labor job, so it was like a lot of people who just, they weren't too bright. No disrespect, I don't really want to be rude, but I'm just trying to explain. It's hard to have a conversation about growth and wealth with somebody who's using their back to get their bills paid. I got skills, I had talent, so I just wanted to learn how to make money off the phone. So I started learning about crypto investments, and I learned about crypto many years ago. As I started learning crypto, I started to notice the charts look like the charts my friend was posting. I started studying these charts, candlesticks. I started reading all kinds of stuff about candlesticks. I started watching videos about candlestick patterns. And then I said, wait a minute. If you look at the market, pardon me, that's uh, my, um, yeah, I'll get rid of that, pardon me. If you look at the market, the market will show you uh, candlesticks but if you look at your mt4 they'll have uh they'll have uh different forms of candles then i saw the line graph and i said wait candlesticks may not matter as much and that was kind of what triggered me to realize that we pay attention to certain things in the market that we don't have to candlesticks are good wicks mean a lot of things wicks i use for exhaustion points in the market so if the market is constantly going down and I notice as it's going down, I'm starting to see more and more wicks at the bottom. I know that the buyers are starting to strengthen up on the candles and the price action is now ready to reverse at some point. So what I then do is I look at a level where the market is gonna hit resistance and then I'm looking for that to be my buy entry because the wicks told me that the buyers were starting to step into the market. So there's a lot of things you learn and I'm not trying to teach strategy. I'm not an expert, I'm far from that. But I'm just telling you what I started to learn and how I realized. And the reason I learned to trade is because crypto. When I got into crypto, I noticed the crypto market was doing a lot of weird things. It was pump and dump. And I'm like, man, how do I stop losing money in crypto? The reason I started learning how to not lose money in crypto is I started studying the charts. And then I realized there was this thing called Forex, which was the same charts. It literally was the same charts. So I started studying that and I said, hey, I think I want to start trading. I started trading for like six months and then I hit up my man who I know was a trader. He was a trader for all his life. And, you know, he helped me out. He gave me a robot. Um, I learned how to use it. And here we are two years later. I'm a consistently profitable trader. And I don't like to publicly say that because you could be a consistently profitable trader and still be broke. Uh, not have a lot of money and I have a lot of things but what I do is I learn I'm just my moment right here is not about just becoming rich or forex it's about knowing what I'm doing so that's I'm more of a person I just want to know everything about this market and know exactly what's going on when I walk up to a chart I want to be able to walk up to a chart and know exactly what I'm seeing what's going on um, yes I use indicators and EAs but I could walk up to a naked chart and do the same exact thing and that was my goal and that's what I wanted and that's what I got so the reason I became profitable is when I learned to stop over trading because I was taking 22 trades a day. I took a, um, a challenge and I was winning the challenge and I had a robot and I put the robot on and I went to sleep and I'm not blaming the robot. It's my fault. And the robot just kept taking trades. And then I, um, I hit my daily loss because of the drawdown. And it wasn't because the trades were wrong. The trades were right. It was the drawdown that was killing me. And then I say, hey, that means there's more to learn. So I said, okay, I need to learn how to get those entries where I, I avoid the drawdown. That to me is a real trader. When you could get into a market and grab like 30 pips with maybe no less than five, 10 pip drawdown, to me, you're a, you're a, a elite trader at that point. And that was my goal. So I became consistently profitable by challenging myself to show discipline 
and to learn and respect the craft. And what I did was I stopped over trading. I saw that was my weak point. I looked at the data and I said, okay, if I'm winning 14 out of 22 trades, that means that I'm still a little bit over, but look at how many I lost. I lost eight. So that means that I'm taking too many trades. So now I'll take maybe four to five trades a week and I won't lose any because I'm learning to just go for the trade that I know is gonna respect my setup and take that trade and take it for a lot of pips. Like every now and again, you'll see like last week I posted a GJ trade. It was 200 something pips. I posted in the group. People can believe that you can get that many pips in a trade because all these people teach you how to scalp and get 10, 20 pips and go. That's fine and dandy, but to me, if you really wanna learn how to trade, you can hold a trade through the year. You can hold a trade through the months. That's, that's a different type of trader. So yeah, ain't nothing wrong with scalping. I, I'm a scalper, I scalp majority, but I wanted to learn all aspects of this. So I became consistent by learning how to not over trade. Cause that to me is what will kill you in this market if you just keep trading. And uh, you know, there's gonna be times when the market is not gonna respect your setup. It's not gonna respect no levels. It's not gonna respect no moving averages. It's not gonna respect anything. Price action, news might come out and reverse that. It's just gonna happen. And if you just constantly in that market, you, you just constantly raise the odds of getting cooked flat like that, you know? And I'm just giving you a real conversation. And uh, I felt like just answering your question this way, because a lot of people on YouTube teach you some funny stuff. I don't wanna knock it. I, I, I understand people have to create content so they make videos, but there's a lot of bad habits that you'll pick up from watching YouTube videos and stuff and just be careful because I was there. I was there, you know, for the first six months of trading, I was all over these YouTube videos. I was trying these stupid strategies. I was getting cooked left and right. Um, the first thing I learned is when people say I blew my account right there. When you hear people say stop blowing your account, you got to watch that type of stuff, because if that's the case, that person is just not trading right, because the numbers and the math behind trading if you're blowing an account it's because you're not trading you're just gambling and you have to realize that majority of the enticement of of trading it kind of revolves around the flashy gambling the bad habits just spending your money on crap and things you don't need just bad habits so be careful because i spent six years learning those bad habits and then i spent the next six years unlearning all of that crap and then that's when i formulated my strategy and within the last year i became profitable now i don't like to say i'm profitable because i like to like compound i like to uh like i'll withdraw money just to see that i withdraw it and i'll put it back i'll leave it in the broker which is not a good idea either because it's unregulated and i'll do stuff like that just to see that i'm making profits but i really don't take my money and put it in the bank and go buy things with it and all i don't do that uh maybe when i get to a point where I got like a, a crap ton of it, I'll start doing that, but I don't go and go to the Louis store and none of that stuff. But that's all another conversation. But back to this topic, uh, I learned how to trade from crypto. I wanted to stop losing money in crypto, and that's when I saw that the crypto market had the same trading charts as Forex. I switched to Forex and I started learning Forex. And the thing that helped me with Forex is learning candle patterns. Even though candlestick patterns don't matter as much as people make it out, it really don't because the price is going to either go up or down. That's it. But you can get data from the candlesticks that can tell you where the price is going or where it's ready to stop going, things like that. But that's how I became um, profitable. I stopped over trading once I learned how to trade. I learned how to trade from crypto. My man, um, who's my partner now, he's one of my partners. Uh, he helped me out. We built some EAs and indicators. Uh, I don't promote EAs and indicators in these type of videos we have them but I don't promote them as much because that's not what this is about but um hopefully this answers your question yeah man um I don't like to really say I'm profitable because I'm not the kind of trader that takes his money out and then goes out to the club I don't do any of that stuff so um I compound my account my first account was $200 blew that out I didn't blow it blow it but um I, I ran it down to like sixty dollars then i put another 200 ran it down to 160 then i put like another 200 in it and when i got to a thousand dollar account that's when i said i'm not gonna lose no more money and i started pushing myself and i started to stop losing trades and over trading i was doing a lot of crazy crap i was like i would have like 20 charts open and being like 14 trades it's, you can't even manage your trades like that you know what I mean? i'm not saying 14 positions on one 
pair i would have 14 currencies with 14 trades running different pairs different time frames and it was just i learned the hard way i ain't blow my account because i use risk management but risk management was also how i stopped losing money to in the market because even when i was losing once i learned risk management one percent losses don't hurt you if you got an account if you learn how to trade on one percent like you're in an ftmo challenge or something like that and you stick to that you'll stop losing trades once you start doing that you will because when you start getting greedy and you start going hey my setup is, is golden the market might not respect you then you throw those lots in there and get cooked get cooked right out the market because you stop uh you know you broke discipline so hopefully that helped you guys do remember the discord is open you guys can ask me questions in the comments as usual i appreciate the questions i hope more people come and ask questions like this so i can make content answering it uh the discord is open it's free you can go there we're gonna post chart analysis things like that uh trades i want to hear what you guys think of like other uh strategies you guys are using i just want to hear from you guys so join the discord group i'm gonna start promoting that all summer um i just hopefully want to hear more things from you people i'm gonna try to be putting more content up here as much as i can i'm not gonna just be making videos for the sake of making them though so if you don't see me posting a little bit you can always hit me up in the discord i'll be there i always monitor the discord see what's going on i need moderators and things like that in there too so i need to build a community um yeah so that's it so just keep in mind man the first thing you want to learn is not to over trade once you start learning how to trade you're going to learn by over trading you're going to learn from over trading you're going to over trade once you over trade you got to learn what trades were bad and why and then once you learn how to control the bad trades and cut them down you will start to become a consistently profitable trader from learning to not take so many bad trades because once you take a bunch of trades you'll start learning the bad ones from the good ones you might want to keep a journal honestly i never did any of that stuff the stuff i hear on youtube all that stuff was crap when i was trying to do it all it was doing was distracting me and messing me up i'm gonna make a separate video about that but that was how i became consistently profitable in the forex market okay and um i don't really like to tell people that because when you tell people that they start looking at you like what well, do you got money what you got and i'm not a lifestyle trader so i don't want to start talking about money and then people start going hey because like you'll see me post 400 pip trade 200 pip trade obviously if you see a 200 pip trade even at a zero zero point you know at, at a zero point zero zero one that's still a couple dollars you know what i'm saying and if a person's consistently doing that obviously they're compounding if not getting money but the thing is when you start posting money people who act kind of different like i could easily post 200 pip trade five thousand dollar trade and then have a bunch of people come into the channel and then they're gonna want to see me in a lamborghini and all that but that's not what i'm here for i'm here to actually just make content because i like making content i'm not here because i want to try and do all those crazy flashy things and i'm not knocking people who do that because i even i like to watch that every now and again but just be careful picking up that those uh bad habits because youtube is 90 percent bad habits and you can learn to trade for free from youtube you can't the uh free content is scattered all over and the problem with that also is there's a lot of bad habits mixed in and for you to learn you're gonna have to pick up the bad habits and go oh, this doesn't work and now you have to get acclimated to getting it out of your system and trading without it like i said i spent the first six years learning bad habits and the next six years i, mean, I said six years the first six months learning bad habits the next six months unlearning them and that was a year wasted i probably would have been a profitable trader a long time ago had i not wasted time with those bad habits but anyway this video is long enough uh please share this video do join the discord telegram group is in the description as well like i said i'll open the discord in another video I, I got discord open video check that out i open the discord because of all the scammers but i still use telegram those of you that use telegram you know we're here i'm there the telegram is not that active because of the discord now once we get more subs and people to come to the channel and you guys start being active in these uh platforms we will get active in these platforms with you okay but i need to build a community so subscribe like comment and uh keep the questions coming i'm out of here peace